Hey guys, episode 34 of the Stock Portfolio Series. Uh, some gains and some losses this week. Uh, quite a, uh, a busy week. And I've added some more from some cryptocurrency sales into the uh, Trading212 account. So let's have a look. Uh, so gold and silver funds are both down, about two or 3,000 overall. Uh, gold price still sort of lagging a little bit uh silver not holding up too bad uh but yeah so these these two funds have seen a fair bit of outflow uh the jupiter gold and silver in case anyone's wondering is just a rename of the uh, merion gold and silver one that i held before um i think merion have been bought out so it's not uh, i haven't sold that and bought into this it's just they've changed their name so won't be any sales here for a little while. Uh, over to Trading212. So, seen a nice uh, nice little gain this week. Uh, coming from about 32 to 34. So, not too bad. That's mostly come from the uh, same as it was last week. Uh, so, the ArcPi is down a little bit. Uh, seen some of these... Some of them are sort of up, I wouldn't go through them individually, but uh, some of them are up sort of 10%, but then some are down sort of 15% or more, and some just down a little. Uh, NASDAQ sort of generally got hit a little bit this week, uh, but obviously it's sort of still doing well over the long term, even the medium term. So if I get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more funds, I may just sort of put a little bit more into, into this arc pipe. Still wanting to build it up. Um, not too much else um, other than a few major moves. Uh, Argo blockchain, obviously. Um, expect most people have sort of seen this. Uh, 105% this week. So that's been a nice move. Wanted to have some crypto exposure in the ISA. So that's quite nice. Not to have to worry about the tax. So that's going well. Probably hold that for a little while. I haven't really decided on any sort of profit-taking targets on that yet. Um, the REITs and Alibaba and things haven't really moved too much. Uh, the Bitcoin ETP up 13.5%. Um, still in close-only mode. It, I guess will be forever unless uh, the UK... Sort of changes their mind so again I haven't really thought too much about when to take a little bit more off probably when I'm selling out a significant amount more in my main crypto portfolio uh, BT done quite well this week for well for BT um, but yeah not too bad added some more in the in the invest account before the previous week so that's pretty good uh, most of the gold miners have sort of had a, an up and down choppy week. So we're looking, I think sentiment and polymetal are looking pretty good value at the moment. So we'll continue to hold on to those. Still slow going when uh, everything else is sort of rocketing up around you. But quite happy to hold. First Majestic, as I say, is uh, holding up quite well. Sort of doing well, 38% up over the month uh, it's just been flat for a little while but silver price not doing too bad so quite happy with that uh, that's the arc pie stuff um, nintendo sort of still doing quite well see they've acquired another studio so again nothing huge news from them but uh, quite nice just chugging along uh, polymetal as you can see is now in the red so really been sort of hit by uh, by the falling gold price but hoping to uh, see a positive move in that and then a, a very positive move in these obviously you can see on the uh, sort of longer term chart uh, they did sort of go above 20 pound so hopefully if we can uh, get a nice move in the gold over sort of probably the spring time uh, sort of expecting maybe might take till April, May time. Just a little bit of a longer term move, but quite happy to be defensive at the moment. 
with uh, the market how it is. Uh, Rio Tinto, seen quite a nice move. 7% in the last week. So got a lot more of this in the in the invest account now, but just leaving that there as well. I don't really want to sell any shares wherever they are uh, if they're in the long term sort of allocation. Um, nothing else there moved too much. Sylvania Platinum just sort of creeping up again, uh, 3% in the last week. Still sort of planning on uh, £1.25 to take a quarter off this and then hopefully hold it for a bit longer. Seeing, again, more sort of uh, more news about sort of the commodity boom carrying on potentially for years. So may keep some of that sort of even over the longer term. Uh, really want to get some more into the Tritax big box and Euro box. Um, but yeah, need to sell out of something first in the ISA to to buy more of them. But we'll see. Any dividends I get maybe. Um, Volkswagen had a nice move. 6% up in the last week. Uh, I haven't seen any specific news on this uh, probably have to look into it over the weekend but quite happy with that and obviously Porsche in the uh, in the invest account so yeah that's the that's the ISA for the week on 212 and over to the invest account so deposited about seven thousand pounds this week and it's all gone into the ETFs this week I uh, sort of thought there wasn't really any particular stocks I wanted to top up on this week. So just put it all into the ETFs. Um, and so on the stock side of things, no huge movers there. Um, Aviva, nice sort of 4.5% move. Not too bad up. So quite happy with that. Don't think anything else moved. A huge amount. Caterpillar, six percent up. Not bad. Kind of wished I'd uh, put a little bit more into this, but it seemed a little expensive, and certainly seems expensive now. So I wouldn't be adding to it just yet. Um, nothing else moved too much. So here you can see I've added. Um, sort of split the seven thousand fairly evenly over uh, over most of these a little bit more in emerging markets than everything else uh, a little bit in uh, in japan global clean energy and the global water uh, unfortunately i didn't gain the uh, get the good price on the iShares global clean energy so i sort of bought around around here before and then i bought i think just before the drop so it would have been nice to sort of average that down a little bit more, but if it stays like that, uh, I'll be fairly happy. I've made a, another sale of some cryptocurrency, so uh, there'll be another probably £10,000 going into the invest account next week. So I may sort of add more to this if it stays low, but we'll see. So more in the global water ETF, quite happy to just add to that. Uh, the Europe mid cap uh, is up on the week, but uh, down overall now. Uh, I think part of this is, yes, FX impact. So starting to see a real sort of hammering on, uh, on the foreign holdings now through FX impact. Uh, the pound dollar is now at 140 uh, the dollar index is sort of not uh, not dropping too hard, but I think it is just the pound uh, at the moment for the last couple of weeks, just sort of appreciating. Um, but yeah, unless the uh, the dollar starts making a big move upwards, then I think we're just going to continue to see uh, foreign investments losing to FX. So you've got to try and outperform that FX to get any real gain. Um, not too much other drops Lenar had a bit of a drop uh, but still quite happy with that it's fairly well in profit again being knocked down a little bit by the FX uh, 
some small other moves, sort of threes, four percents here and there. Um, Porsche done quite well, slightly better than Volkswagen actually. Uh, so <coughs> yeah, seven point seven percent. Rio Tinto, I've shown. Uh, Shell just three percent up, but did go a little bit higher during the week. Um, see U.S. small cap ETF. I did uh, add a little bit too. Still sort of not moving huge amount, but fairly happy with that. And TSMC is fairly flat. Taylor Wimpy's flat. Tyson Foods moved up a little. Um, not seen any news about their lawsuit that they were getting involved in last week. Have to read up a little bit more, but uh, sort of fairly steady, uh, steady one to add to. Not sure uh, how to spend my £10,000 this week, uh, but we'll see. I'll probably have a little bit more of a read-up over the weekend and uh, see what I want to add to or maybe any more positions that I'm not currently invested in from the long-term pie. So, yeah, we'll see uh, see how it goes in the next week. So that's the that's the portfolio for the week. Pretty good more additions and uh, see how we go in the next few weeks so drop a like if uh, if you appreciate it and uh, yeah leave your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe if you want to see more see you soon